One of the plants that we get asked about a lot is this. We have it several different places here in our garden. It's an annual plant in the midst of all of these perennials. It's a painted sage, annual clary sage, or if you speak Latin like I do, it's a salvia viridis. Um, and in Danish, it's a... Dusk salvia. Dusk salvia, what a fantastic name for a beautiful plant. The first thing that you'll notice, of course, are these colorful bracts. This one's in pink, it's called Pink Sunday. We have it in blue um, as well, and also comes in white, but we don't have it in white. So it's these colorful bracts that are really getting all of the attention. It does have flowers, and they're hiding under here. They're sort of protected by those bracts, and it does go to seed. And I'll show you that in, in just a minute. Um, we have it here. It loves well-draining soil with rich organic matter. So as we've told you before, this garden gets a lot of compost. Um, loves full sun. It can also take partial shade. Today's a sunny day in Denmark. So basically any plant that grows in Denmark, you can trust that it can also handle partial shade. Although every time we film, it seems to only be sunny. So that's just really working out. Um, it gets around 50 centimeters uh, in spread and around 50 centimeters tall. It's an absolutely gorgeous plant. The bees love it. We love it. You can use it as a garnish in some dishes. Uh, eating a lot of it may not be the best idea, but it is safe as far as that goes. Because of its height, we've put it here at the edge of our border. Also because of its height, if you put it in the middle of your border, if you really just have some lower plants, then they can sort of help capitalize on that positioning depending on where you put it. But we have it here right around rounding the corner and we think that's pretty. So let me take you to the other side of the garden and I'll show you the other colors that we have. Here's another one that we have also right here on the border. We've placed it next to this really incredible blanket flower, one of my favorites. Um, but back to this one. We've, we've placed it here on the border. This is also a pink sundae. You can see these bracts. I don't know if you can hear it but there's some bees in here. They're absolutely loving this plant. So I want to show you an Oxford blue over here on this side of the garden. If Lars will zoom out. Sorry. Thanks Lars. Yeah. Uh, let me show you this Oxford blue over here. It's a bit in the sun, so hopefully we can, we can show it. But look at these colors. Isn't that crazy? So here's the two varieties together. We planted both the pink Sunday, which is the pink one, and this Oxford blue. It's a bit purple. Um, Oh, there's a bee. You can also see on this one, if you can zoom in here, you can see the seeds. So we showed you the flowers a little bit earlier, so that's what happens when they're finished. So these are the seeds. The brown ones there, yeah. yeah. And then we'll collect these, let them dry. Well, when they finish drying here, we'll collect them, put them in coffee filters, and then they're gonna be ready to start planting out next year. Now, there's one thing that you can do, that's why I have the bucket and my snips here, is you can deadhead this guy. So when he starts to sort of, you can see that we're really letting this one go to seed, not as much as the other two pink Sundays. So you can see that he's already finishing here. He's totally in seed. We can go ahead and clip it off if we wanted to. Here's some other ones. We can deadhead it all the way to there. And then it's gonna start coming back with more bracts. Here you can see one that we have deadheaded, for example. Yeah, so we cut that off and then it's the bracts. The bracts are really what are giving it that color. And that's these modified leaves that you're seeing. A bougainvillea has a similar process so that the big color that you're seeing, it's, it's those bracts. So we have a lot of seed collecting to do on this one. It is an annual, like we told you, so stick around and see in the spring when we start planting this out. But hopefully it's something that can answer some questions as well about what is it? It's such a bright pink or a bright purple blue. We're really big fans of it. This is the first year that we've had it in our garden. And I think Lars, you agree that it's been one of our absolute favorite annuals. Um, so I'm sure you'll be seeing more of it <laughs> uh, as next season begins next year. So. So I just want to show you here how they look like. There's around four in each little seed pod. And if you don't collect them, like we mentioned, we keep them in coffee filters, but it will self-sow. So it'll drop its seed, and then you'll have more and more and more of this plant for next year. Yay! But here at our house, we love to collect seeds. We do.
<laughs> this is pretty much all we do in the autumn. We love the flowers, but we love them when they go to seed. <laughs>